to my YouTube channel today we're doing a festival inspired makeup look and it's including these glitter freckles and I absolutely love how it turns out it looks so so cool so I really hope you like it as well let me know if you do down in the comments below and what festivals you're going to this year so give it a big thumbs up as well and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how we got this festival makeup look then keep watching so I don't ramble on for too long, I've already done my face makeup and done my brows and primed my eyes and things like that. We're going to move straight on to the eyeshadow today. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette because I haven't used this for ages now and I want to do more of a pinky reddish look today. I'm going to start with Burnt Orange because that's a really nice transition shade. So I'm just taking this into the crease. And I'm only picking up small amounts today because these do have a bit of fallout and I've already done the rest of my makeup so I can't really wipe it away that easily. Next I'm going to take Realgar and it's just a little bit more of a burnt orange than the first one. And I'm blending it out towards the brow because we are going to be doing wing liner. And then for the whole lid I think I'm going to use this pinky one which is called Love Letter. And then I'm going to take the same <clears throat> brush that I used and just blend that into the crease. And I'm just using a little bit more Avery Algar to do this. And then to darken up the crease a little bit, I'm going to mix a little bit of red ochre and a little bit of Cypress Umber as well. And I want to get this right into the crease. Just on this very outer edge. And then for the inner corner I'm going to take this one called Vermeer and it's a nice sort of sparkly pink and I'm going to start off by highlighting the inner corner with this but I really want to go on the lid as well but I haven't made my mind up yet. And I'm just going to pat it on the very inner part. And just pass it in my finger. Okay, I'm moving on to gel liner now and I'm just going to wing it out. I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to start by lining them with a black pencil. This is from Rimmel, it's the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and it's in the shade Noir. I think this makes a massive difference. But it does take a lot of practice to do on yourself. I'm going to start smudging that out with Rialba on a little pencil brush. And then I'm just going to take a little fluffy blender and just start buffing that out. I do like to blend my lower lash line down quite far because it gets really creasy under my under eyes and this just helps hide it a little bit. I'm taking a bit of Love Letter and I'm just going to pop this to the centre I think. Mascara, I'm going to do Too Faced Better Than Sex on the top and then Revlon Dramatic Definition on the bottom. I've just applied my false lashes and used the Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes. I think they're the number 8. And I'm just going to finish off the eyes now with that highlight that we used on the inner corner. And I'm just going to apply some to my brow bone. 
and also a little bit more in here. And then before we move on to the glitter freckles, I think I need to apply a little bit of blush. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the Milani Baked Blush. I am really, really pale at the moment, so I haven't really been able to apply a lot of bronzer or contour today. So I feel like I need a bit of colour to my cheeks. And then I also need to apply some highlight as well. I'm going to use the Sleek Solstice Palette and I'm going to use the Lavender Shade. I'm going to go on to the tops of the cheeks as well because that's where the glitter freckles are going to be. And I think it'll look nice if there's a little bit of shimmer under there as well. And this is more of a festival look so you can be as creative as you want. You can blend your eyeshadow out as far as you want, it really doesn't matter. So for the glitter freckles I'm going to use this glitter and it's from Boulevard Beauty and it's in the shade Supernova. It comes with a brush and some glue and then this is the glitter and it's all different sorts of sizes. So what I've done is I've just taken out some of the larger pieces and put them in this bowl just so it makes it a little bit cleaner and I'm going to apply those as my freckles. So I haven't decided how this is going to work, I've never done this before so hopefully we'll be okay. My plan is to add a little bit of the glue and then with my tweezers start adding little bits of the glitter. So I've just got some of the glue on the back of my hand and I am going to really take my time with this. I'm going to start just on my cheek area because I feel like that's the safest place to start. And I'm just going to start picking them up. I'm placing them on. And this has actually got to be the most tedious thing I've ever done. But I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. And once you sort of get into a rhythm, it does become a lot quicker. So just take your time at first. It can be a little bit tedious, but once you get used to it, it's fine. I have got glitter everywhere as well. So I finished off the glitter freckles and I think they look so, so cool. The last thing we need to do now is lips and I'm going to use the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Candy K. So that completes this festival style makeup look guys, I absolutely love how it turned out and I hope you do too. Let me know if you want to see more looks like this down in the comments below and please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!